What's going on, everybody? I'm out here with DJ and Jason. We're gonna be doing a little bit of musky fishing today. A lot of it. A lot of it. A lot of it. Water temperature right now is like when we dropped in. I think it was at 33. Yeah, so I think it's, it's 35 up here. Pretty brisk, but the water's nice and clean. So we're gonna see if we can't catch some fish. Starting the day off with a white, or actually, what color is this? It's not white. White that tailed. What? what do you call it? Small mouth pattern, kind of. Well, it was my first attempt at it. It's small mouth. The first glide I ever made, the new one. The Cineus glide. You said this has got a 43? That's got a 47. 47. Oh, 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 that's right. 40. So this has got a 47 and a 40. I'm going to throw this around. I think everybody's throwing like a glider right now. Denominators would be like a 52. That would yeah. work. I yeah. think you're right. I'll take a 52. I mean, That's what we're starting the day off. <laughs> First cast musky, 52. Oh yeah, this glides so well. Yeah, I like how that one works. Oh yeah, this is money. Big fan. Spot number one. Haven't seen any fish yet. We've got a long day. Here we go. Up in the creek a little bit. We've got some crystal clear blue water and this is a pretty deep hole there's probably a few Definitely. there's probably a few fish in here to be honest at least one i guarantee yeah it's deep enough that it could be a good wintering spot plus i'm sure a lot of bait fish come down through and it's out of the current a bit too you see any merchkies down there i don't see none i don't either i don't believe it I made it down the river a bit got some nice musky looking waters current's rolling pretty quick though it's definitely not helping us oh it's loose oh there it goes it came out <laughs> you didn't lose the bait somehow yeah she good a little bent out but she's good we gotta find some slower water all right friends well quick update for you we actually changed spots the river where we were fishing was just flowing a little bit too hard for us to fish. So we came back to one of our OG musky spots. Water looks really good too, so I think we're gonna have a better chance fishing here. Made it to our second spot of the day. Sticking with the glider. And I got my trinks back. Thanks Lawson. You just love leaving your fishing gear at different places, don't you? I know, I'm an idiot. Some good clarity here. It's fun to get that wake going. You can't really. Oh, I left my sunglasses in the truck. You did not. Yeah, I did. I'll let you know when there's a fish, bud. Okay, cool. Dang, that was stupid. Can't believe I forgot my sunglasses. That's an 80 inch right behind you. This thing is so freaking smooth. They are definitely the smoothest. It's, it's almost too smooth. I'm gonna switch it up. Though they probably will end up eating a glider. I'm gonna throw a black Medusa. Somebody move a fish, please. Sorry. Why aren't we trolling right now? Let's no, throw that glider back on. Yeah, we're in the minor now, but honestly, on these 14% days, the low percentage of days where it's not in a phase. I always have action outside of the minors and the majors and not in the you know I'm gonna throw a different lighter. I don't know what though. All right, we're gonna try the Mark King. Why not? A little clown, clown. Clown pattern. Maybe they want something bright. I feel like it works better in dirty water, but what do I know? Going up to fish. Basically, we're just going to the dam. Yeah. I my first one. You see it right there at the bottom of that wall. That's awesome. Yep, on a $9 baby girl. Yeah, it might be kind of tough in general. Let's see what it's like, like Max said, on the other side of that island where it's well, like a slack. On it'll the be like a nice eddy. Yeah. It's probably going to be shallow. This is probably the deep hole all the water comes through and it just goes straight down, but that that's probably a big shallow flat. We'll run down here and find it. But, I mean, even if it's shallow, it might be worth fishing for like a couple minutes just to take a few casts. Yeah. All right, boys. 
Let's get them. Dude, I bet you there are so many fish in this little section right in front of us. Right, the water rushes down past, and all the bait fish are gonna come in here. And they're gonna come right, right in here, yeah. Fish. Oh, big fish. Take your time. I got him. I got him. He's good. He's good. He's good. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. He's in the bag. First cast. First cast. Yeah. That's a high 40s, dude. Yeah. That might even be 47, 48. Hell yeah. Dude, I guarantee you there's more, too. She is a stud. Here we go, boys. First fish of the year. She's a big one. Beautiful fish. This fish came in on the Mark King glider, that clown color. Done pretty well on it, but we're gonna put this fish on the bump and get a quick release on her. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Whoa, Pinch your tail. What do we got here? 46 and a half. 46 and a half. Pincher. 46 and three quarters. Almost 47. She's a good one. There she goes. Woo. Okay, bud. I got big one. Pooped on. But I'll take it for the first muskie of the year. Heck yeah, dude. Nice. Good work. Woo. Cold. All right, well that's first fish of the day. 40 set, 46 and three quarter? Three quarter. 46 and three quarter. First fish of the year, pretty stoked about that, but it was actually really cool how I caught that fish. So we came all the way up to the dam, and there's like a pretty good amount of open water, and then there's this island behind us that just creates this eddy. And basically, what we were thinking is that this water is rushing around and this is a really nice slack water area and all the bait fish and whatever else are going to get washed around into this and the muskie are just going to stack up. So right after I caught that fish, maybe, I don't know, two or three casts later, Dennis had a really big follow on one of his gliders, so we might be in a window. We're going to see if we can get some more. Got to get back out there. Caught one on the glider, but now I want to try the big boy. This is what we're going to throw. 12 inch. DJ Customs Dive and Rise. It's massive. Oh yeah, she's big. Oh my god. I don't even know if this rod's gonna be able to handle it. Big boy. How am I working this? Just downward strokes, pause? I've only thrown a dive and rise a couple times. Definitely not one this big. Really got a lot of bird. Oh, this rod is definitely not suitable for this bait. All right, one more throw of this. Back to the girl. Did you see her a ways off, or was she like right at the boat? Right. Gotta take the diving rise off. Okay. Okay. We're running out of time. I know. Get him. Got him? Yep. We're not good fish. Jesus Christ, it felt big though. What's a freaking dinker do? It's a little bigger new. Got her though. <laughs> yeah. Better than no fish. It's not the big one I was looking for. Dude, it felt so big the way it had. Second muskie of the day. 30 minutes apart. 
That one also came on a glider that was one of Dennis's custom gliders actually that he makes. Looks sick. A little guy, but uh, there's definitely some fish in this area. It's pretty sweet. The DJ Custom City. Painted by Andrew Johns. Ooh. All right. Another little scrappy one, but I'll take her on the DJ Customs Sinuous Glider. Painted by my little brother Andrew. Thanks, Andy. She's bleeding a bit from getting hooked, so I'm gonna get her back in the water. Oh. She's ready. I don't think you're gonna have to swim out. Fish number two for the hey, day. Hey, let's get another one. Oh, yeah. Good work. I had to be the dinker, dude. She felt big when I first hooked her. She barely moved. Were you working it quick, slow? Just nice and easy. Nice and easy? Yeah. That's how I was working mine. Oh. I was working mine as well. Oh. oh my god. That literally bit like a fish, dude. That was so weird. I felt like a tick in my line and then it just straight wood. I got it. Oh, I slammed it. I thought that was a fish. Literally, that felt like a fish. It was weird. First half of the day was not, not like great. this. I mean, that was within 30 minutes of each other, too. Two fish and a big follow. All in 30 minutes is pretty damn good. So we caught both of those fish up in that little pocket. And we realized that this whole area behind it is about the same depth. So kind of figure there's a bunch of fish just kind of circulating here in this area. So we're going to, we scooted back probably 50 yards and we're going to fish out from behind where we were. Fish. Mm. Not a fish. Stick. That little stick felt like a fish. I'm not kidding. It was fighting me and everything, I swear. Very last cast, very last cast. Let's go. 50 incher. All right, we're gonna send it back down. Down to the ramp. All right guys, so two things I have to get into really quickly. First being, Dennis's glider is actually called the Sinuous Glider, not the Sinuous Glider. I got it mixed up, and I've probably been calling it the Sinuous Glider for ever. So, my bad D, I apologize. And it makes sense because Sinuous means to have many curves and turns. So, if you look at one of Dennis's baits, a lot of attention to detail. It's really cool looking design and it does have a lot of curves and turns, so makes a lot of sense, bud. As far as Mark's glide bait goes, that's now under Keystone King musky baits. So keep that in mind. If any of you guys are going up to Musky Max, both of them are gonna have booths up there. Make sure you go stop by their booths, check out their baits, buy some baits because they obviously work. And I've been throwing Mark Kings and DJs since I started two years ago. So highly recommended. Tell them I sent you. This is Moose, by the way. For those of you guys that don't know, this is my girlfriend's dog. Moose, short for Mooski. She didn't know I snuck that nickname in there. Yesterday was awesome. I caught my second biggest musky of all time, 46 and three quarters. Uh, my biggest musky is 47, so only a quarter of an inch off. Pretty sweet. We had a good amount of action in the last 45 minutes to an hour that we were fishing. We had the 46 and three quarter, Dennis caught the smaller muskie, and then Dennis had another really big fish follow. It was a pretty cool spot. We were just looking at it, because we were gonna go fish around that dam area, and it was just like a perfect eddy behind that island, and it was really, really cool. I figured there'd probably be fish there. Dennis did too, so we were like, all right, let's just go fish it for a little bit. And first cast, I mean, first freaking cast with the Mark King, or the Keystone King now, obliterated it. It was awesome. Very exciting, a lot of fun, 12th musky lifetime. So, it was a big one too, 46 and three quarter. That's, that's pretty solid for a newbie like myself. But that's where I'm gonna end this one off. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button for moose. Hit it for mooski if you wanna see some more mooski fishing. And for me, just because I like you guys. And I will see you soon. I'm actually getting out tomorrow. 
I wanted to do a little more filming today or getting out, but I really wanted to edit this video because I always get pumped up when I catch musky. But yeah, gonna go do some bass fishing tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.